Hey everybody and welcome back to Todd Bozzi's world famous YouTube channel and our coin pusher quest for Bitcoin. Now today you can see uh, we have a pretty different setup. Um, I'm not really sure where the Bitcoin is in here other than there's a couple on the sides but I don't really see any in the playing field so they may be mixed up in there. Um, but we do have a couple superheroes in here to, pay, to, to play for. The Spider-Man on the top there, um, and he's a 10 grand. The Falcon on the little on the front here, that's five grand. So 10 grand, five grand, and then all the other pieces that are the same normal value they usually are. And uh, <clears throat> Shannon will be joining me at some point today, but uh, she has a lot of stuff going on and uh, a lot of people she's helping out. So I went ahead and uh, let her um, let her have a little bit of time to herself to get all that stuff taken care of and uh, I told her I would start without her. <laughs> but don't worry, we'll keep it fair. I'll, I'll give her whatever winnings I we get. Now there's a lot here. We have like a uh, stacks of silver on, with stacks of quarter on, on top. We've got a couple $500 pieces underneath these stacks. Uh, I got a, we got some cash in here. The $1,000 uh, bundles are back in. Um, only a couple though. There's a lot hanging off the edge, so we might be able to drag some of those down. I hope everybody's enjoying their day. It is a really, really beautiful day today. Sun's shining. Uh, there's no clouds. Now that might be a cloud or two, but one of the gray ones. Um, there's no rain. And, uh... I'm not wearing my winter coat, so I can't complain. That was pretty good. Last second drop, I didn't think that was going to come. Whoa! Alright, so the big stack on the top shelf fell. Spider-Man took a jump backwards. And there was a thousand dollar coin that was underneath Spider-Man that fell backwards as well. And all that silver fell backwards on top of the thousand dollar bundle. So, um, I'm gonna go back to... We really gotta get a lot of this top shelf. Mm, never mind, there it is. So that was a uh, two grand that just fell onto the top shelf, uh, off the top shelf onto the bottom. In play now. And be, they're, they're really good pushes, actually. You can see how much uh, it's making the playing field move when they just uh, stand up a little bit. So after our uh, research on the last couple videos, I did that quiet one and then we did one where we talked. Uh, looks like the verdict is most people like talking. Uh, they don't like the dead silent ones. So looks like we'll probably be uh, back to the normal me and Shannon uh, chatter during the videos, at least for the while, until we uh, try something new. You know we're always trying new different things just to see what sticks and see what people like. But we definitely learned that people don't very much like that one. But I've also heard a lot of people who uh, like the quiet. They like the, the calmness of it. So it's pretty hit or miss. It sounds like it's about uh, probably about 40, 60. <laughs> Whoa. All right. So for the first time, a stack fell forward. Um, it was a lot of silver. Um, the superhero I thought was taking a dive, but looks like he's still there. A thousand dollar bundle... Uh, I'm kind of dangling there. Um, I'm kind of sucked to see if we got anything big. I don't think, I think it was just quarters. Yeah, so far we're just, we just pulled quarters out. Nothing, uh, nothing to quit your day job over. But, uh, we got a lot in here to still pull, so let's see what I can do.
That was a, I think a lot of quarters and a couple pieces of silver. I'm gonna go ahead and check that. Yes, um, whoa, that sounded good. I just happened to be down here looking, so I didn't see what I'll sell, but I feel it. Got a lot of silver today. Looks like we're gonna have another uh, silver day after yesterday. We pulled uh, well over 150 silver ounces out yesterday, and I think we're gonna be trending for the same today. Bear with me here, just pulling out silver pieces and quarters. Alrighty, so that's 16 silver pieces. Uh, probably about fifteen dollars and quarters uh, pulled out so far. So there's a second superhero fell backwards. Whew, and we're gonna have a lot of uh, silver and uh, $500 coins fall right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. There's a lot and the ledge is right there. I'm just gonna scoot you a little bit back so you guys can see. Got a pretty nice setup there. So, So I was reading through some of the comments and I see uh, where some of you guys are uh, commenting that you cl also collect coins. Uh, Shannon mentioned that she collected coins yesterday and somebody else said that they do too. So I made me think, how many people out there really do uh, collect silver, gold, um, quarters, coins, whatever kind of coins you, you choose to collect. Um, really just kind of curious uh, how many of y'all are out there. I know, I know there's a lot of them. Um, we, we do a lot of uh, gold and silver through Ohio Trading, and uh, I'll tell you what, uh, people, some people are still stockpiling this stuff, especially after uh, there's a big scare with Reddit, and I'm not going to get into it, but uh, there's a whole thing with the stock market and silver prices, uh, so um, after that, a lot of people are um, changing their thinking and changing their buying methods. And a lot of people are out, they're, they're buying silver every paycheck, they're stocking up, uh, they're, they're making sure they have enough cushion on uh, non-cash, non-dollars, um, so that way if uh, anything happens they have plenty of money um, saved up and it's not uh, something that the bank can just lose, it's not something that, uh, you know, your house can burn down and you'll lose. Most of the times you keep the stuff in a uh, fireproof safe or uh, just somewhere protected. And uh, the values only go up most of the time. Uh, a lot of times silver, I know silver prices sit around the same price, but uh, they're constantly fluctuating up and down, up and down. So you can buy uh, cheap and you can sell for more, way more than you buy uh, if you just sell at the right times. And hey, don't stop at coins and gold and silver. If you are a collector at all, I'm a huge collector in uh, well, a lot of different stuff. I, I, 
I am, uh, my fiance calls me a hoarder because we, uh, I like to collect. I have, uh, bobbleheads, I have coins, I have, um, weapons like swords and stuff like that. Knives, I, a lot of people collect knives. Um, so I know that's a big thing people like. So throw down, uh, in the comments what you guys collect. Don't stop the gold and silver coins, just in general. What do you guys collect? Do you like trading cards? Do you like baseball cards? Uh, I never got into baseball cards myself, but I'm not really a sports guy. Um, but I know a lot of kids uh, get into Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff. So that's a whole collecting um, market in itself. I know that. And nowadays kids have uh, stuff like the Paw Patrol and all that kind of stuff. That stuff gets collectible, so... So you guys see this mess here just hanging off the edge? Uh, there's a lot of stuff bridging the gap. So you can see a lot of the silver is actually sitting on those $500 tokens. So it's being balanced right over the ledge and getting ready to toss you in the next couple uh, pushes. Shannon just got here. I'm here. Hi guys. So How she, are you? She had a little, had a couple things to take care of, so she finally caught up. I got to work, you know. Uh, you only missed about 12 minutes, and uh, honestly, I didn't pull but 16 silver pieces out of here. Oh my gosh, everything's hanging. Look at that. Yeah, you can see all these $500 tokens. Holy, holy. So I'll let you take a turn finally. All right, guys. Let me see what I can do. I know you guys miss me, I'm sure. Oh, that money's hanging in the back too. We might be able to get a hold of that. You never know. So I was just talking to myself. Uh, okay. In, in, the, in the viewers here. Uh, uh, collectibles, stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Somebody commented that they collect coins because you, you mentioned that you collect the silver. I do. Yeah. So I, uh, I told them to drop in uh, what they collect, whether mm -hmm. gold, silver coins, or anything, uh, right? Yeah, collect yeah. bobble bobbleheads, uh, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so, Jenna, what, what do you collect? Um, okay, so I do, I do like to collect silver, obviously, but that's more of like a financial thing, I would think, and then a collection. Um, there was something when I was younger, probably in my 20s or even maybe uh, older teen years, called Boys Bears and Calico Kittens. They're just like little statue things, you know? So I have probably 200 of those that I've collected <laughs> throughout my life. I no longer set them around my house. Woo! That was good. But I do have them in boxes, and someday maybe they'll be worth something. So is that almost like the Beanie Babies then? The they're, the they're, they're ceramic, though. Like, okay. they're ceramic, and I used to have them in a curio cabinet. Um, my mother, as when I was growing up, collected Precious Moments. Okay, and yep. she still has hundreds of those. I know family members here who have that stuff. These are kind of like those. They're just um, bears or cats. Like, oh, different okay. kind of cats. So, and I would always get them for, like, birthdays and Christmas and stuff. And, yeah. Um, but probably nowadays, there really isn't anything that I would say I collect or I have to have, you know. Right. A lot of collections you kind of grow out of, or you, you get a house and then you don't have anywhere to display it, so... Yeah, and you know, stuff kind of comes and goes, like, in a fad. Like, those things really aren't popular, they don't really, like, go with my decor anymore, so then what do you do? You leave right. them in a box somewhere and hope so, that they'll be worth money someday, so... So you just kind of sit on them. I know my mom's got yeah. a whole... she's got a whole cabinet full of Beanie Babies, so... Uh, she, my grandma has those. She has those ones, the McDonald's ones, that are supposed to be worth a whole bunch of money and stuff. And mm -hmm. But are they? Really? Yeah, I mean, you know, you can put them on eBay and ask for that, and you can just 
sit there and keep asking. <laughs> Cause, right, because nobody really... Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure if there's a Beanie Baby collector out there who wants something that badly, they'd probably pay what, what most people ask or what the market mm -hmm. value is, they say. But right. I can't speak a whole lot because I don't know much about them. No, me neither. I took a double turn here because I was yeah. behind. Mm -hmm. Hey, we finally got the cash on the bottom. There we go. So we got our traffic jam, uh, just these $500 chips. But they're going to start falling. Yes, we just got to get enough stuff on top of them. So that was quite a bit of silver again. Yeah, just so you guys know, uh, before Shannon uh, was done taking her turn, I counted them up. We we're at 40 silver pieces. We're at 44 now. So, <laughs> doing pretty good. Uh, yeah. And we only got, we're only 16 minutes in. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop the first, the first name of the video real quick. So congratulations to maybe Haley Lynn. Uh, I found your name off the YouTube subscribers. So uh, our YouTube subscriber Haley Lynn, congratulations! Your name goes into the bucket, and uh, you—it's possible we can draw your name on Monday when we draw names. And if we call your name, you win a prize, and you have about a week to claim it. Congratulations! So uh, we have a couple more names this uh, video, so keep. Uh, Keep watching, keep listening, and let's see what I can pull out of here. Okay. Guys, I haven't had sushi for a while. I'm craving it. I might have to get some today. I'm missing my sushi. Last night I had something really good though. I had something called shotgun shrimp last night and it was absolutely amazing. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are shrimp eaters or shrimp lovers, but I am, obviously, and I loved it. I'm big on sweet and spicy, which is why the good and evil hot sauce is my favorite for Todd Bosley's world famous hot sauce. <laughs> it's my favorite because it's sweet and spicy. Get a little bit of both worlds. Yes. All right, so now I'm gonna build another wall and see what I can do here. We got another really sunny day. Even though it's a little deceiving, it's not exactly warm, but at least the sun is out. Forecast looked pretty good to me when I looked at it. A lot of 50s and 60s. The time changes tonight, so that means spring is on its way. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, what's that? We, we're losing an hour of sleep tonight, right? Yeah, spring forward. I'm okay with that if that means summer's coming. I'm tired of winter. Yeah, me too. The only thing bad about time change is uh, I, I stay up till 2 or 3 in the morning anyway, so I see the time change. Happen and then I'm, it throws me off for the entire. Not night. me. I'll be sleeping. <laughs> mm -mm, that's way past my bedtime. Last night I stayed up till eleven. I thought it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I normally do. I I used to have a bedtime about midnight, but now I'm, now I'm usually up till two or three sometimes. Crazy. Hey, yeah. we finally got something nice. Ooh, five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollar uh, token. Yeah. I read the, I read the coin today. It actually says token. So I'm gonna try to start saying token. Oh. <laughs> it is. All right, then. I always try, I call, call it coin, I call it chip. Let's try token now. Okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking because we, we took them uh, for the Bitcoin yesterday, and I did uh, two Bitcoins the day before. I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that's why they kind of hit them all off on the side there. How dare them! But what I notice is, you guys see over here, this money is off, hanging off the ledge and there's a Bitcoin right on top. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know how possible it is to get that money off the shelf, but if we do, that the Bitcoin could come with it, so. Well, that was pretty uh, underwhelming, that turn. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a huge drop when this front finally does let go. That's what I'm hoping for. Definitely the uh, least we've won in the for the amount of time we've played. Yeah. Um, 
So maybe that says something about Shannon's gameplay. Mm -hmm. It was just me for the first 12 minutes. <laughs> it must be my fault. <laughs> no, you just got some, uh, you got the luck. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Let's see what happens in another year. So, back. what exciting Saturday night plans do you have tonight, Kyle? I'm pretty excited about this chicken noodle soup I've been waiting three days to cook. Oh, chicken noodle soup? <laughs> yes. Uh, right. I haven't had homemade chicken noodle soup for a while, so it doesn't sound like a big deal, but it's a big deal. Are you cooking <laughs> it or is Alyssa cooking it? A little bit of both. She started it? Um, she'll probably do the chicken and then I'll do pretty much everything else. Mm -hmm. um, we Are like, you the cook in the house, would you say? I used to be, but uh, in yeah. the last couple of months she's uh, she's been kind of taking it over. Yeah. I'm not complaining though. No, I bet you're not. <laughs> See, I don't enjoy cooking. Um, I used to not say I'm the cook in the house. I do it, but right. I don't enjoy it. I used to love cooking, but now it's just like a... Mm, you could show it. Yeah. When I first got my house and you know, moved out of my parents' house, it was a huge deal for me to cook the meals, but... Yeah. Now I've been doing it for a couple of years, and I'm kind of over it. <laughs> it's hard for me because a lot of times it's just me. Like, I don't want to... Right, you don't want to cook a whole meal just for you. Right. It's just... Crazy. We separate the meat now because it's just the two of us, so right. we, we buy a pack of burgers. That's four what burgers. I do too. So. Plus, my kids, like they're teenagers and they're picky and they want what they want. And if, honestly, now that they both drive, if they don't like what I'm making, they're just going to get food. So then I'm wasting my time. All right, that was good. That was a pretty good job. So I'm wasting my time anyway. Get rid of the rest of this quarter in my hand. I can't put it up. Yeah, that's a. Oh, yes, that's what we wanted. All right. But my son is 18 and he's starting to cook, which is kind of nice. I mean, little things, you know. He can make a mean French toast <laughs> and some bacon. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's progress. Yeah, it is. <laughs> At least I know he won't starve if he's alone. <laughs> but it's funny because if I'm not home and he's home at night, he'll call my phone and say, Mom, where you at? When you come home, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Feed me. Make your own food. <laughs> You're 18. Yeah. I had a roommate who, uh, I don't know if he chose not to cook or if he just, just didn't want to. I don't know. He, uh, he only ate ramen for the most part. <laughs> Almost every day I'd walk through the house smelling ramen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I would get sick of that. I would watch him put, like, seasonings on it and... But hey, uh, ramen was a huge thing, especially when the pandemic hit. Yeah, you couldn't find ramen in the stores. Mm -mm. Everybody wanted that stuff to have in their basement, and they thought the apocalypse was coming. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think we've asked it before, but that, that's a good question. Uh, what is there anything you guys can't find anymore, or you guys haven't been able to find the last couple months since... The pandemic, pandemic started and everything. And obviously, it's, it's kind of tapering off now. I can't say the pandemic started, but um, a lot of threat. The shots are getting out there. A lot of threats kind of dying off. It's getting off. better, yeah. It's getting better. But uh, I know uh, toilet paper was one of the biggest things. Meat was hard to find for a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. But what? What? I mean, we're just here in Ohio, so we only see what we see. Uh, where else in the world are you guys having issues? And what are you uh, missing? What do you guys need more of? I'm missing concerts. Oh, me too. Badly. Ooh, ooh, that was good. Oh, put my, my hand in there too early. Uh oh, that hurt, didn't it? A little bit. <laughs> like people are starting to schedule concerts again though from what i'm seeing yeah a lot of the ones that i've seen uh have announced that a lot of them aren't going to be in 2021 or probably be not till really start till next year country but, fest is lined up for the summer yeah there are some places lined up yeah more in play park i don't want to nope. say any names right now but <laughs> oops sorry You're is uh doing some concerts so I feel like outdoor venues like that have, a, have, have, have they have it lucky because they can. Mm -hmm. It's not really such a big deal for them to distance people. Right, they just have to uh, shorten the amount of tickets they would sell, I guess. Right. Ooh, there we go again. All right, it's hanging. Oh. Darn it. 
Looks like you got. I'll trade you for now. Looks like you got like four pieces out. All right, it's clear right now. Yeah. Okay. There's a couple quarters in there. Real quick before <clears throat> before I take my turn, uh, Shannon mentioned her uh, the hot sauce that she liked mm -hmm. earlier, but I wanted to talk to you guys about the jerky that I like. Um, so I tried the four different types of jerky we have: uh, hickory, original, peppered, and sweet and hot. And uh, my favorite uh, so far is hickory. Um, I'm not a big spicy person, so one of the other ones might be better for you guys. But I like this just because it's your normal jerky flavor with a little bit of the hickory taste. So try it for yourself right at ToddBowsy.com, Walmart, Amazon. I mean, really anywhere you guys can find uh, most of your purchasing purchases. You can probably find our stuff too. Uh, but stuff is awesome. I love it. I actually went through a bag of it earlier. So uh, try some for yourself. You won't regret it. And if, like I said, if you don't like hickory, try some of the other ones. We have a uh, peppered, original, and uh, sweet and hot. And we do have them in two sizes. Uh, we have 10 ounce and the uh, 3.25 ounce. Smaller bags, a little bit cheaper, just so you guys can get a good taste of it before you dedicate or dedicate. Yeah, I guess so. That was dedicate a good one. Yeah. yeah. All right, some more winnings. Well, we got a $500 token. Nice. So you remember to see if I can remember. <laughs> yeah. Right. That last push was a little oh, underwhelming, okay. so. I'm getting too old to have to bend down like that every time to <laughs> clean it out. I wish it would just slide out by itself. Goodness. Alright. You guys see the teetering $500 right here? There's actually like $1,500 stacked up right there. So the so one drops, they'll probably all drop. All right, so. So you're getting chicken noodle soup. Mm -hmm. All right then. That yeah. sounds really good, actually. That way I don't burn no uh, burgers again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't trust Kyle with the grill, apparently. <laughs> he burns things. He forgets. I am excited to get back to the grill, though, to redeem myself. <laughs> yeah, you're going to need to. <laughs> the neighbors are smelling burnt burgers for days, I'm sure. Dogs wouldn't even eat them. All right. So it looks like we're building that back wall or back shelf up again. Not a whole lot of movement on it. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of quarters, but we need to get this big mess in the front out. Let's see, where are we at on time? We have about 10 minutes left. About 10 minutes. What? What's the Spider-Man? I wasn't here in the beginning. Oh, yeah. the other guy? So, uh, the big guy Spider-Man is 10. 10,000. 10, well, shoot. Yeah, and then the little guy is uh, 5,000. Well, keep it going. Yeah. Get them out. Let's they, go. They were both on top of the stacks, and both of them, of course, had to jump backwards. Backwards, so, right? Well, mm -hmm. There we go. Um, I, that was, you, you that was a great that was job. Like, uh, $1,500 yeah. right there. All right. That just came out, so that's uh, each one of these is five hundred dollars. So that's Love it. Fifteen hundred. I love it. Yeah, that's really Happened. 
It just like broke them all up and pushed them out. It was weird. <laughs> Spread the love. Yeah, these you guys saw that. I know you did. Mm. Okay. So we have so far we have at least uh at least eighty silver pieces here. I'm just kind of kind of down here counting them. And looks like uh. Looks like you pulled a couple more, so that's nice. So I'll take my whack at it now, see what I can do. So I still got this teetering $500 token and uh, $1,000 up here on the shelf. That was pretty good. Uh, not, not what I wanted, but... So, uh... So Shannon just uh, stepping out to help a couple more people. Uh, can't help it. Uh, but I will keep playing and uh, I'll try not to hog all the winnings myself. But let's hope that she didn't take all the luck with her. Let's see if I can still pull some good stuff out here in the next couple minutes. Um, we are approaching the end of our time, so she may not make it back uh, before the end. Um, but we'll see if I can get enough out to give her a pretty nice uh, payday tonight. Sorry guys, I had to fill my pocket so I could have a little more streamlined play. Might I just uh, brag for a second, I am getting really good at this whole uh, loading thing. I'll still drop a quarter or two every once in a while, as I do it. Taking that $500 token, um, 
Ooh, you can see the silver was actually just slipping. <laughs> see, there it goes. I was hoping that would take that $500 token, but it didn't, so I'm gonna have to load her up again. And real quick, I wanted to congratulate the next name to go into the bucket. Congratulations to Sherry Wallace Robinson. I'll leave this on the screen for a second so you guys can all see it. I know this camera just doesn't want it. There you go. So, your name will go into the bucket and there will be a chance on Monday, we'll pull your name. If it's not your name, it'll be one of these many names in here and uh, the winners will receive a prize. If you're a local winner, you must claim your prize within a week in store. If you're not local, um, you're out of state, you can't really just drive up here and pick up your prize. Um, just have to email us at ohiotrading at AOL.com uh, before the deadline in order to claim your prize and we'll get it shipped out to you. And the prizes are always uh, always something different or uh, exciting. And we try to keep it so uh, we're not sending out. Let me tell that goes through. Trying to keep it so we're not sending out too much of the same stuff, but we also want everybody to try a certain item. So um, you'll notice some of the prizes will change. So if you win, uh, if you won once already. Uh, you may get the same thing, you may not. They alternate, they, they're randomly set, so. Uh, the one thing that isn't random though, guys, the value for these prizes uh, come from the amount of viewers we have and the amount of subscribers we have on YouTube. So if you look at our subscribers, uh, I checked right before I got on here, we're at 4,100 or something like that. So if we can get that number up to 5,000, we'd be doing pretty good. If we can get all of our videos uh, viewed a whole bunch more, that'd be awesome too. So make sure you guys get, you tell your friends, your family, share this on on Facebook, uh, Twitter, wherever you guys share, you post. Tell your tell your friends, your family. This is free free stuff they can win, and all they have to do is watch a uh, video and listen for their name. Plus, if you miss your name, they might catch it and let you know. So nothing but benefits come from uh, sharing and letting other people know about this. Ooh, all right. So that was what I was willing to drop. down here on me because they fell sideways. Oh, that's what, that's why, because there's another $500 token in here. The one that was balancing on the edge there finally dropped. We got a $50 bill out. Um, on top of the two $100 bills that we got out. There's so much, so much kind of kinds of money and valuable things in here I can pull out. Crazy. And the silver alone is just phenomenal. I mean, look at all this stuff. I have probably over a hundred silver pieces here. I don't want to take the time to count them. I just gotta get everything out of the, the tray so you guys can uh, Oh, I got another $50 bill out. Alright, 
So now we won't have to worry about things jamming up in there again. Got everything unstuck. It was that $500 token that did it for me. It fell in there sideways on top of the silver and I had to move all the silver in order to get to it. So, yeah, more quarters are right. So, I'm gonna pull those out right now because that was another $500 token. And a couple more silver pieces. So we're coming up on my time limit here. I've uh, already played a little bit longer than I thought just because I had to clean out that winnings thing for a second. So I've only got a couple more quarters left. I'm gonna play through the quarters and then we'll call it a day. Um, luckily I had Shannon's help there for a little bit in the middle of the video and I pulled a whole bunch of, I can't say I did, but we pulled a whole bunch of stuff out. Um, so maybe there's a bit of luck to Shannon's play. Oh, Shannon did make it back right before I stopped. I'm back. I can try one more turn and see if I win anything. Or oh, we win anything. Yeah, we give it a minus quarters, and that actually works out. So we'll That'll both, be my last turn. We'll both play through one last turn and see how... Ooh, stuff is still falling. Yeah, I pulled a... I want to say two or three. No, uh, probably two. Five hundred dollar pieces out where you're going. Love it. So I'll let you go ahead and play. Alright, I got about 20, 30 quarters. Let's just get them in. Well, it looks like I didn't take the luck with me this time, so we were still winning. So then, we never got either of the thousand dollar pieces out of there, or other the superheroes. What? Yeah, this is a bummer. Bummer of a day. We can't win them all, though, I guess, so. I, I think today we still won a lot. We just won them in smaller quantities. Mm -hmm. We didn't get the five thousand dollar piece. We didn't get the thousand dollar pieces or the superheroes, but... They so, set us up. It's a lot of silver. <laughs> a lot of silver. They definitely set us up. <laughs> they were mad because we've been winning so much. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I could see the, the guy's reaction after uh, we play. No kidding. Okay, well, let's see. A couple more quarters. I'm just going to put them in and see what happens. Too bad. Pretty happy about it. Money. Yeah, a lot. That is a lot of silver. That's 120 silver ounces. 120? Yeah. That's a lot. Actually, 122. But let's just stop. You playing again? Is that the last of your quarters? Yeah, I'm gonna go through the last. I had a couple more left. Okay. But can not drop them. Bending over. Getting old. Alright, last quarter. Right. So 
So that's really what I wanted. I, I had too much silver hanging off the edge. That's why I wanted to sink the rest of my quarters and hopefully walk away with those. So. Hey, we got some <clears> more. Right? Yes, we got plenty, mm -hmm. a couple more silver pieces. So we're doing really good. Let me pull the, the last of that out. Kyle had all the luck today, everybody. Tomorrow's my day. Mm -hmm. oh, while you're here is when we started winning, though. Yeah. yeah. Darn bitcoins didn't fall off. <laughs> Two, three, four. Yeah, I mean, I'll show you guys real quick. Oh, let me do this the right way. So you guys can see down here, each one of these stacks here are $1,000, so that's $4,000 right there. And then each one of these are stacks of 10, so that's uh, 120. There's not quite uh, 10 in this last stack there. So almost 130 silver pieces, silver ounces. Uh, all those quarters, and then we got $200 bills, uh, $250 bills, and then uh, the, um, I think that's a copper eagle. So lots of stuff in here, guys. We pulled a lot out, left a lot on the uh, plate, so hopefully uh, we didn't bankrupt, bankrupt the place today. <laughs> and uh, we'll be we back. Did well. Yeah, we'll be back again tomorrow and uh, continue our tra chase for the Bitcoin. Uh, we weren't able to pull any off of the sides today, so we'll see what we're able to do uh, tomorrow. And uh, thanks, everybody. Have a good evening. Have a good evening, guys. See the Spider Man's rolling around. He's showing you his belly. But we'll be back tomorrow for more of this, and uh, hopefully, we'll pull a little bit more out. Thanks, guys, and have a great evening.